as we were testifying to you of this river and the M-I that we now know is pronounced me from a Hebrew idiom that represents Judah was placed in the captivity twice. Once in Mesopotamia on that side of the river or water over 3,000 years ago and the same God put Judah into captivity on this side of the river or water 459 years ago to date, which was the second time that he, the apex, the A in the middle of M-I on both sides, came unto me, M-I. Keep in mind that, that this prophecy also says in Mark chapter 10, and verse 31, which, which is a simile connected to what happened here in this prophecy of Daniel, that says, quote, But many that are first shall be last, and the last first, end of quote. It's a simile. That prophecy of Yahweh through the mouth of Yahshua ben Yosef is in fact an allegory of me, me, Mia or Maya, spelled M I A, that is found in the cities of both captivities of Judah. The last or end is found at the last or end part of Mesopotamia. And it's found at the beginning of the largest city in the southeast of the United States that is known as, quote, Miami, at the first and the last. Now, here is wisdom for those who are taking notes and writing this information down or recording it. Here's wisdom. Daniel was commanded by Yahweh to shut up the words and seal the book in Daniel chapter 12 and verse 4. And when he did, he also shut up the chosen and few of Judah that would be found in the cities of the south. And these cities where Judah is today were also the very same cities that were visited by Yahweh ben Yahweh during a nationwide tour that he performed and carried out during the mid to late 1980s to at least November the 7th, 1990. Though he started from international headquarters in Miami and journey in cities of the south where Judah was shut up and none, no one could have opened the book where they were quote shut up but one and that was Yahweh ben Yahweh that is Yahweh ben Yahweh the lion of the tribe of Judah And those cities included St. Petersburg in Florida, Tampa in Florida, Orlando in Florida, Jacksonville in Florida, Atlanta in Georgia, New Orleans in Louisiana, Mobile, Alabama, Jackson, Mississippi, and other cities of the South, just to name a few. That was also a simile, an allegory of what is found printed in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 13 and verse 19. That reads, quote, The cities of the South shall be shut up, and none shall open them. Judah 
shall be carried away captive, all of it. It shall be wholly carried away captive. End of quote. Now we have been reading this verse since the book was sealed, even from 1979 to this present era of this new Gregorian's calendar year known as 2014, just as it reads, literally. That's how he read it, literally. And yet, the whole world had failed to realize that when the lion of the tribe of Judah had loosed those that were shut up in this verse, he also revealed to them who he is, as well as who they are, as the, quote, whole tribe of Judah that he himself had carried away captive, even to this very day. For thereby, the English word, quote, captive, end of quote, that is found here, beholds several meanings that was sealed in the Hebraic word, reference Strong's H1540, read from right to left, spell Gimel Lamet Hay, pronounced Galah. And one of those meanings is the Nafal meaning that means, quote, to uncover oneself to discover or show oneself, to reveal himself of Yahweh, as well as a passive meaning, such as to be uncovered, to be disclosed, to be discovered, to be revealed, to be removed, end of quote. Just to name a few of those meanings. In other words, when Yahweh ben Yahweh said that, quote, Judah shall be carried away captive, all of it, it shall be wholly carried away captive, as it reads in Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 19, that he raised us upon in our true history, the world's best kept secret, in the yellow book, lessons one and two. When Yahweh, when Yahweh ben Yahweh was teaching us that, he was also telling us and disclosing to the entire earth at the same time that he has come to free his own people out of the book on this side of the river. Those of his people that were found written in the book that were shut, shut up Praise Yahweh. You get emotional when this is being revealed. When your eyes and your mind becomes freed and opened. Yahweh ben Yahweh came to feed those of his people that were found written in the book that were shut up in the cities of the south of the United States of America. Especially in Miami. Praise Yahweh where he'd first found Judah to uncover his one self to Judah, to show his one self to Judah, to reveal himself as Yahweh to Judah and to carry Judah with him captive to deliver them as they are a whole tribe as one with him our motto, one God, one mind, one love, and one action. One God, one mind, one love, and one action. That's what he unsealed. The whole tribe of Judah, just as is written in the book of Daniel chapter 12, verse 1, we were shut up in the south in the cities. Yahweh ben Yahweh was also telling us and disclosing to the entire earth 
at the same time that he has come to free his own people out of the book on this side of the river, those of his people that were found written in the book that were shut up in the cities of the South of the United States of America, especially in Miami, where he'd first found Judah to carry Judah away as he disclosed his one self to Judah and to disclose Judah to the entire world with him as a whole tribe as one with him. Yahweh ben Yahweh was also telling us and disclosing to the entire earth at the same time that he has come to free his own people out of the book on this side of the river that was sealed and shut up those of his people that were found written in the book that were shut up in the cities of the south of the United States of America, especially in Miami, where he'd first found Judah to carry Judah away captive as he be as he revealed as be, as he'd been revealing himself all this time as the Messiah. He revealed himself as Yahweh, he revealed himself as the Messiah, and all this time he came to free them who were captured, as well as reveal them as the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and to carry them away to be removed from the land of the river on this side of Mesopotamia. Praise Yahweh. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as it were the noise of thunder, praise Yahweh. One of the four beasts saying, come and see. And with that said, please continue watching on the internet, on this internet and YouTube, as we continue our revelation of, quote, the third seal, end of quote. And remember, Judah, your very own God, Yudhe Wafe Yahweh loves you, your Savior and your Redeemer, Yudhe Wafe Beth Nusofi, Yudhe Wafe Yahweh Ben Yahweh loves you. And so do E Y E, your host in Miami, loves you. And I'm saying to you, Shalom Alekum.